गुड मॉर्निंग डियर चिल्ड्रेन आई एम मनाली नातू फ्रॉम द मिलीनियम स्कूल साउथ सिटी लखनऊ टुडे वी आर बिगनिंग द थर्ड चैप्टर ऑफ क्लास इलेवन पोलिटिकल साइंस द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज इलेक्शन एंड रिप्रेजेंटेटिव इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल स्टडी डिफरेंट मेथड्स ऑफ इलेक्शंस द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द सिस्टम ऑफ इलेक्शन एडोप्टेड provisions for free and fair elections and electoral reforms in your lower class you have studied little bit about our election system now what do you mean by elections it is a method to choose representatives who will form the government it provide a mechanism through which people can participate in decision making in a democracy now what do you mean by representatives before i tell you about the representatives or electing our representatives first you have to understand the difference between direct democracy and indirect democracy see a direct democracy is one where the citizens they directly participate in the day to day decision making and in running of the government the ancient city states in greece were considered examples of direct democracy today also like local government especially gram sabhas okay they are also uh, closest examples of direct democracy but this kind of democracy cannot be practiced when a decision has to be taken by lakhs and crores of people that is why rule by the people usually means rule by people's representative people elect their representatives in such an arrangement citizens choose their representatives who in turn are actively involved in governing and in administering the country the citizens have limited role in taking major decisions and running the administration in indirect democracy but here in direct democracy people have main role they are directly involved in taking decisions in indirect democracy uh people are not actively involved in making of the policies citizens are involved only indirectly through their elected representatives and that is why direct democracy is called as real democracy because people are directly involved in taking decision and indirect democracy is called representative democracy because we are electing our representatives who are taking decisions on our behalf this direct democracy is possible in smaller countries indirect democracy it is uh, practiced in bigger countries it is possible in bigger countries in direct democracy people they do direct voting and in indirect democracy voting is done by machines